But I'm like, what if it's more than that? But what if it's not? Good afternoon, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Sassy? Yeah, I'm enjoying a greenie. Yummy. It's easier on her teeth, so I let her have extra compared to the boys. So, I'm still in my work clothes. I just got off work. It was good, except I started getting really lightheaded and just getting hot flashes, and I'm not sure why. I had caffeine. Um, I ate food before I got there. I was drinking water throughout the day, so I'm not sure what was causing it. Luckily, the feelings of being faint and almost wanting to pass out has subsided. Still there a little bit, but not too horrible. I'm mainly just tired. But now, I'm about to go with Tyler to see Wonder Woman. Yay! I almost considered not going to see Wonder Woman. Because I'm not the biggest fan of DC. But I've heard really good reviews about it. And I'm always a sucker for female characters. Because let's face it, there is not enough female portrayal as a hero. Then again, I also really do like Poison Ivy. She's awesome. I know she's not a hero, but whatever. So now I'm going to get changed. Let me switch hands so I can do this YouTube magic. Ready, set, ta-da! I am changed. I'm wearing my... I'd rather be with my dog tank top from I'd rather be with my dog. And of course, jeans and one shoe. I'm only going to walk around with one shoe on. Just kidding! I'm going to put my other shoe on in a second. Um, I'm waiting for Sassy to finish her greenie, which it looks like it's done, because I know the boys are right outside the door, and I don't want to make them jealous. Though they probably figured it out anyway. So, now I'm going to finish getting ready. And then Tyler and I are off to see Wonder Woman, and I will check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys! There's my two beautiful boys, and of course my beautiful girl. So, saw Wonder Woman. Oh my gosh, that movie was fantastic. I love it. And I'm not a big fan of DC movies, so the fact that I want to get this on DVD already, I think it's a good sign. Um, I just love how, like, how Wonder Woman was portrayed. I just loved the whole thing. It was great. And there were jokes that were funny. I'm not going to say what the jokes are. You guys will have to see it for yourself, but it was funny. Um, and then... Got home and just... I don't know what happened, but... For at least a good 30 minutes or an hour, I was experiencing, like, extreme lightheadedness. I felt like I couldn't like stay awake. I was getting dizzy. My heart rate was accelerated. I couldn't breathe. Couldn't catch my breath. And then when my mom had me go lay down for a little bit. I kept getting these muscle twitches where like it feel like I was trying to jerk forward and then it feel like my face was trying to twitch. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I'm of course, and I think I'm kind of going through a derealization thing where I was just like. I know I'm here, like I know I'm in my body, but I don't feel like I'm in my surroundings. Like even when I try grounding techniques, because at one point I felt that way when I was driving, like I knew I was in my body, but it didn't feel like I was in the car. And I was trying to make, I was trying to um, ground myself, but when I would focus on one thing, I couldn't feel any of the other things, which got me really concerned. Um, so far the only thing that I could consider being the most sense making, I guess, is not having had Ambien for a couple of weeks, which, I mean, luckily I happen to have been extremely exhausted from the preschool, so I slept better, but yeah, um, but I've had episodes like this before when I had the Ambien, so I don't know what it is. And of course, it can be, people can become dependent on it. And let's face it, I, I know I've gotten dependent because otherwise I can't sleep, but 
been able to sleep without it for a little while, so that's at least good. Um, my mom keeps thinking it's my anxiety meds, but, I mean, nothing's changed with them. And even though I haven't had Prozac for two nights, I know withdrawal symptoms would not hit me this quickly. Not with the Prozac. Um, otherwise, I mean, I kept thinking, what if I went to the hospital, went to the emergency room, tried to figure out what's going on with me. But then in the end, I'm like, they're just going to say, oh, it's just your anxiety. It's just panic attacks. But I'm like, what if it's more than that? But what if it's not? I don't know. It's that back and forth cycle. Um, it just had me really concerned because I felt like I was going to pass out. I didn't feel like I was where I am. Couldn't breathe and kept having these like uncontrollable twitches. So I'm like, what is going on with me? And of course, I tried to look up on WebMD. It said I was going to die. As WebMD, WebMD, what? WebMD always does. But the num, the few things that came to mind right away about it was like it brought up um, arrhythmia, which I thought I thought I could have an arrhythmia, but I don't think so because I think doctors would have figured that out long before this. Of course, generalized anxiety disorder and panic disorder, which, guess what, I have both. Hooray! Um, <sighs> sorry, I'm still really tired. Um, dehydration. I've considered whether or not it's dehydration. I don't know. I mean, I drink water throughout the day today, so... I don't really know. I don't like this feeling at all. And I don't like not knowing why. But... I'll talk to my mom at some point and see if maybe going to the doctor would be a good idea to figure out why this is happening. But of course, watch it all just be anxiety related. But the weird thing would be, well, number one, I've never had panic attacks that do this. Like, I've had some that make me feel dizzy. A lot of them will do, some of them will de do depersonalization, where I feel like I'm having an out-of-body experience. But I've never had deep realization. Um, and watch that not even be the right word. And with panic attacks, I don't have muscle twitches. Well, like, it feels like my face is, like, twitching out of control. And I'm like, what is this? I don't know. I'll, I'll see. Right now I'm just super tired. I'm always super tired. I'm, like, in a perpetual state of tired. Yay. So now, once the vlog has finished uploading, collabing with myself, how exciting. I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... When you feel like you have a new set of symptoms for something, what does your brain do? Does it go into overdrive or is it just like, oh, this is probably nothing? Or does it kind of do a back and forth thing like mine does? So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Riddler. Good night, Emerald. Good night, Sassy.